What's up, guys? Welcome to J Hook Reviews. Here we have a Coleman go kart that we got from uh, where'd this come from? I think it's TSC. What do those initials stand for? Uh, the tractor supply company? No, 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 that's not right. The Santa Claus. The Santa Claus, that's right. That's where that came from. And uh, we're going to go through a full review here of a little bit of time that we've had it. Stay tuned. We'll start off back here at the engine area uh, whenever you first get it it does not come with gas and it does not come with oil and it took us forever to find the place where to put oil in uh, I'm gonna try to get you guys to it I can't even see it from here but maybe you guys can see it he's still trying to find it oh here it is found it it's right here right there and we had to fashion a way to get to it because it here's the the engine and it comes straight out like this right here so we had to fashion a funnel and we had to tape a, a rubber straw to it in order to get the oil to go down in there otherwise i mean it was the only thing we had and as far as the gas um this cage right here we had to take off in order to put gas in it because i didn't have a gas can with like a push button on it but we've ordered one otherwise you get gas all over the place and one of our gas cans the spout wasn't long enough to go from here to there and it spills all over the place so um, i guess we don't really have an ATV gas can, so that might be something to get, but we've got a push button one that we ordered from Amazon that's coming in. Hopefully that will work. And uh, to crank it, it did crank on the, on the first pull. To crank it, you have to turn it to on here. We can go ahead and do it. And we're gonna take the choke Put the choke to on, we'll take the gas, and turn the gas to on. Let's see if it cranks on the first pull. Cranked on the first pull, and after you crank it, turn the choke off. Turn it off. Just turn it off right there and we'll come back here and turn everything back to off as well. A um, couple of things that we have found is um, start off with you're only supposed to drive it if you are 13. And truth be told, our kid is nine he's about to be 10 and it is very small for him uh, well i mean it's perfect for him but it's very small for adults for for his mom and his daddy we've tried to get in it and we've gone around a little bit and driven around in it a little bit but it's perfect for him i'll show you a couple of videos of him and another nine-year-old and some younger kids riding around in it right here. So we're hoping we can get two years out of it and but i don't if he's 13 there there's no way um that he 
we'll be able to ride into it comfortably here i'll sit in it and i'll show you how how um <laughs> it's not really much room for for a grown man um about six one six two 190 somewhere around there 190 200 somewhere around there so let me show you so i can fit in it but it's just not ideal as you can see my head was up here up above the the roll cage so that's not really the the safest to be uh, another thing that we found were these seat belts we need to find a way to tighten them up i don't know how to tighten them up because they are way too big for the kids that we have riding and when they go to put them on they just pull by one strap and when you pull by one strap look how easy that goes up and it just loosens up and gets bigger and bigger and bigger over time something else here before we close out is we also make sure that the riders uh right wear these goggles in case they're riding to a bush we've heard too many horror stories of kids getting branches shoved into their face and we got these uh motocross helmets here to help protect a little bit more we strongly encourage the kids to, to wear the helmets and i would encourage you if you have your kids ride in it to wear helmets as well we got these from uh ww which stands for uh wally world no 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 it doesn't stand for wally world it's winter wonderland that's where those came from those came from winter wonderland there with the santa claus and it came with a set of gloves goggles and a helmet and we got two sets and ones they're made for youths one's a large and this one's the large and this one's the extra large it's the first time he's seen these stickers right here so strongly encourage you and your kids and anybody else to wear a helmet um but the kids enjoyed it the neighborhood kids enjoy riding in it um just a little bit we've got to get the gas can situated that situation situated um it's a it's it's good we're hoping to get two years like i said out of it and after two years sell it and upgrade to another one um but if you have any questions just comment down below and if you're getting tired of these review videos and want me to get back to fishing hey i do too i'm ready to get back to fishing as well but it is january and the fishing's about slowed down but just uh comment down below if you got any questions make sure to subscribe and We'll see what we're going to review next time. Hopefully a bigger one and better one in a couple of years. Thanks for watching, guys.